Yo, what is goody everybody? Welcome back to another video. So yes, I've been gone for like a week and the last two weeks have this been, have been rough, let's just say that. So Baby Lo was very sick. Camila was very sick. She was actually diagnosed with RSV and an ear infection. So poor baby, she just was not feeling yourself. You were just not feeling yourself. And so for the past two weeks, yes, I've had two sick kids, but they're finally, finally back to normal so I can finally pick up this camera and record. Ain't that right? Nah, well, she's like, I don't know, Dad. I kind of still do have a cough. <laughs> so anyways guys I'm glad you kicked on this video if you have subscribed already please hit that subscribe button we are gonna do a full day of eating so I'm just happy to get back pick this camera up do some family vlogs because honestly guys those are my very favorite type of vlogs right mama anyways guys enough talking wait hold on say hold on daddy if you're watching this right now you know what that means that means that you woke up so that means that you are winning so are your stress are your problems can't face you can't raise me, can't raise Mila, cause you and I are already winning fam. So now that we got that way, let's start the video. So before we get started, I wanna give a big thank you to the sponsors of this video, Fat Snacks guys, you know I talk about these all the time. Perfect to put in your pocket when you go to the movies, keto friendly, zero net carbs, paleo friendly, and they're also really great for the kids cause I know kids like to eat brownies, kids like to eat sweets, Hey, don't give them that junk. Give them a fat snack, so they'll absolutely love it. I love these things. I could destroy a box easily. So if you guys are interested, I'll have a link in the description below to get yourself some of the best tasty keto treats you can get. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, so I'm telling you, for those of you who know people who are gonna start the ketogenic diet come January or thinking about doing the ketogenic diet and they're not sure like, oh man, but you can't have this, you can't have that, just tell them to come watch my video. Look at this food. So I'm having a keto coffee right here. You guys already saw how I made it. I put some MCT powder. I put a little bit of heavy whipping cream, two stevias, and then I use also power creamers, um, coffee creamer as well. I got four good delicious eggs and then we made some delicious keto pancakes. This time I went with the, the Breitsch Blenders. Uh, this is the chocolate one. They first came out with the keto mix, but now they have this chocolate one and it's really, really good. They actually have like little chocolate chunks in there. Uh, so that's really good. Also throwing on some of this Choc Zero pancake syrup and on the back, you see what it says, keto friendly. I'm telling you guys, man, just tell them if they're thinking about doing it, you can still have really delicious food options. People think when you do keto, you just have to eat cheese, bacon, and meat. Now, if that's the way you like to eat, nothing wrong with that, but people think like, oh, you can only have boring foods, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Truth, baby. So meal one, about to go down. Let's eat, baby. You like your little toy, mamas? You like your little toy? <laughs> I love seeing you back to normal, mamas. All right, guys, so you're probably wondering like why I've been talking a little weird. Like, Logan, what are you chewing on? Logan, do you have something in your mouth? Um, so this is the first week that I start these uh, clear aligners right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Uh, 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 uh. Um, so I kind of want to dive into a little bit like 
I've always been like really self-conscious of my smile. You guys know me, I love smiling. Like smiling is something that I always do. But unfortunately, I don't have the straightest smile. Like, you know, I have like a crooked tooth up front. They got a little crooked tooth at the bottom. When I was younger, my parents didn't have enough money. And again, I'm not trying to make a sad story. I'm just saying uh, I, I didn't get braces when I was younger. And so obviously when you get older, your insurance doesn't pay for it anymore. And I've always like looked into like maybe like getting like Invisalign, some clear aligners, some maybe even braces. But every time I go and I set up an appointment and I talk, it's like, it just, the, the, the amount of money just racks up every single time. I remember the last time, I think it was like last year, I wanted to go see how much Invisalign was and braces. It was insane. It was like close to $6,000 and they want, half of it up front and I'm like dude like I got two kids like I'm sorry like there's no way I can afford that and um, luckily I found a company called smile direct now this is not a paid sponsorship okay this is not a paid advertisement I wish it was I wish I could say yo use my discount code I wish they sent these for free but they didn't so this is not um, a paid anything this is just me just just keep it real with you guys um, you know, having a straight smile is something that I've always wanted, but I could never afford. And luckily on Black Friday, Smile Direct um, did a deal, it was like $200 off, so it's not a lot of money, right? Whatever. Um, and I said, you know what, you know what, I really wanna do this, like just, let's just go and do this. And they do financing, so I was like, okay, perfect. They do financing, I, I can finance it, um, I can pay, do monthly payments, I don't have to give this huge big chunk of money up front and it's actually pretty decent. So it comes up to about 2000, but you uh, get to pay that over like the next like, you know, like 10 or 18 months. That being said, yes, um, you're, I am still getting used to these uh, aligners. I will say this, the first night was absolutely the worst. I could not sleep. They're super tight. Um, you can't eat with them. So you gotta take them off when you eat. These aligners you have to wear all the time. So um, these clear aligners, they give you, and they give you clear aligners every single week. So it comes with this big box. You get like a week of them, and it's like it's just supposed to last you the whole like 10 months. And uh, yeah, so I'm still getting used to it. It's still a bit of a pain in the butt to talk. Still getting used to talking. As you can see, I've kind of talked a little bit weird. So just in case any of you are wondering, like, why is he talking weird? I'm not doing it on purpose. It's these clear aligners. And like I said, you can't really see them. Uh, I think they did a really good job, but it is a little bit of a hassle to take them off every time you eat. You can't drink hot coffee. That's what's really killing me. So I have to like chug a hot coffee, or not chug it, but I have to drink it fast because you don't want to uh, take these off for a long period of time. Because you got to understand, you got to brush your teeth, you got to eat if you do drink hot coffee. And so every time you take them out, you know, you're, you're obviously hurting yourself. So you want to wear them. Uh, they recommend you wear these 22 hours a day. So that, that's, you know, pretty much got to wear them all the time. And like I said, the, the first night was absolutely terrible. Like I could not sleep. The pressure, I was having a headache, but it's getting a little bit better. Every night's getting a little bit better. And like I said, I kind of forget that I'm even wearing them from time to time until it's time to eat. But uh, just wanted to just clear that up with you guys. Wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that because I am going to be wearing these for the next, you know, 10 plus months maybe. So get used to it. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. And also, I want to like, I kind of want to document it. Like, I kind of want to document it. Like, I'm not going to do a series on it, but from time to time, I will like kind of like say, hey, let you know how things are going each month. Are they getting straighter? Um, is the pressure going down? You know, because I know a lot of people are definitely interested in getting the liners. And you know, not everybody can afford it. I, me being one of those guys, I, I couldn't afford the Invisalign. I couldn't afford the braces, so I had to go with a, a different thing. And that's why, luckily, Smile Direct uh, fit my price range, and I could do monthly payments. So, but anyways, just want to talk to you guys a little bit about that because I know probably some of you are probably wondering why I'm talking like a weirdo. Not doing it on purpose. Uh, but okay, we're gonna answer some emails and then we'll get ready for the second meal of the day. Okay guys, so for the second meal of the day, this is like one of my favorite. It's uh, it's pretty quick and pretty easy recipe. You're gonna need some ground beef. So I got some HEB grass fed and grass finished beef right here. Uh, two cans of Rotel. We have some zucchini. We got the green zucchini and then we got the yellow squash as well. So like I said, this is one of my go-to favorites. And then we're gonna put a couple of spices in there that we're really gonna spice this up. I like to call this my spicy Mexican skillet. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna chop up this zucchini first, then we're gonna brown the meat. So let's get to cooking. All right, so first up, you wanna make sure you wash your vegetables and then just start to chop it. And 
and as you can see <laughs> you may want to hold these so they don't make, you make sure they don't fall off but it's all good you're born getting pizzas in a hurry Okay, next up is one tablespoon of chili pepper. Also, to really spice things up, we're gonna throw a lot of this crushed red pepper because you know your boy Goody loves spicy food, baby. Okay, next we're gonna throw in the zucchini and the squash. Now, one thing I just realized as I was uh, throwing this in here, I was supposed to chop these up a little more. So I was supposed to chop, slice them and then chop them didn't do that oh well Ooh -wee, guys all right here we go so it is all done look at that spicy spicy mexican skillet right there it's cooking up actually it's already done so i'll let it cool down and then i'll put it on a plate to serve but a pretty simple meal guys only takes about 20 minutes to cook yep okay so not bad for the second meal of the day now one thing i always get asked in the comments are uh, people want the recipe and as you can see like I always just wing things guys I, I don't know like I've never been the one that's like okay use one gram of this two teaspoons of this I just wing it right that's the way I do things so I know everybody wants like the full recipe like detailed and unfortunately that's just that's just not the way I cook so I do apologize about that guys so meal number two I got to take these dang retainers off which is pretty disgusting and a pain in the butt but I gotta take this off and then I can start to eat two hours later Okay guys, so I pull in and Crystal's right here by all the boxes and she's like, oh my God, damn you. And I wrote down the window, I'm like, dude, let me turn off the truck. L let me turn off the truck before you already start complaining. Um, so for all you husbands out there, if you get on your wife's nerves, just please let me know in the comments below because I can't be the only one, literally have not even turned the truck off and she's already scolding me. So uh, we're gonna walk inside and See what she's upset about. Whatever. What? <laughs> what did I do this time? All right, guys. So back from the gym. Didn't do any recording at the gym because it is Monday. Typically, I always film on Mondays, so which is chest day. So you guys have seen thousands of chest days. So didn't feel like uh, recording today. Uh, we're going to go straight into the last meal of the day, and what we're cooking today is some salmon. Look at these delicious things right here. So we're gonna make some salmon and the ingredients are pretty simple. Okay, so all we need is some olive oil, some salt, and a little bit of pepper. Now it does call for some um, uh, for some lemons, but unfortunately I do not have any lemons, so it's all good. We're gonna spread the olive oil all over the salmon, just like so, and then all around it as well. And bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. Uh, I preheated the oven to 450, and we're probably gonna keep them in there for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I need to look up the recipe one more time so I don't burn these salmon, because you know I'm really notorious for burning things. I know. So now that I cooked these, uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have cooked four. So here they are, uh, they're perfect as you can see. So uh, nice and flaky, as you can see, it's already breaking up right there. But this is gonna be meal number three. And I'm thinking this is gonna be my last meal. I'm thinking it will probably be my last meal. I know a lot of you are probably like, bro, you didn't even eat that much today. I don't know, today I just really wasn't hungry. I don't know, some days like I'm really hungry, some days I'm not, and I'm a huge believer in just listening to your body. So if you're eating a certain amount of calories, but your body's saying like, yo, I'm still hungry, unless you're cutting or getting ready for a show, or you have like a deadline, like a wedding, or you're going on vacation, just eat more food. That's your body telling you, look, look, I need more food, I need more energy, uh, give me more food. Or if you have a certain amount of calories that you wanna get in, but your body's like, bro, bro, like stop feeding me. 
I'm good. Unless you're bulking or trying to get stronger or trying to re reach a certain number in the gym, then I would say just don't eat. Just listen to your body. Nobody knows you better than your body. So uh, I'm just going to listen to my body. Um, I even though this looks small, like I said, I think this will probably do its job. If I am so hungry, then I'll eat more, obviously, and I'll show you that. But I don't know. At first, I was like, man, this is small. But then eh, it'll do. It'll do. So anyways, guys, can eat this before it gets cold. And then I'm waiting for Baby Low to get here because I know a lot of you are probably like, yo, where is Baby Low? It's been super quiet. There hasn't been much madness in the house. Uh, and that's because Baby Low's been with Grandma all day. And so she's coming home right now. And as soon as she gets home, uh, we'll say what's up to her and then we'll close out this video. Hey, 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 Hello, what you doing, mamas? Where you been all day? Hey, where you been? You're in a funky mood? No, she was crying for you. Hey, mama, say hi. Say hi. Let me in. 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 Can I come in? Can I come in? Hey, can I come in? Can daddy come in? Okay, then Dad come in. Oh wow, look how clean your house is. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. Alright. Alright guys, so this is gonna be the end of the video now that baby loves home. So I want to spend some time with her because like I said, she's been gone all day. If you made it this far of the video, thank you, thank you so much. It means so much to me, it means so much to Baby Low, even though she won't tell you that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit that like button, please hit that like button. Hit the like button, because I can fit in Little Low's house. Like, look at this. Even though I'm bulking right now, I can still fit in this little tiny house. As always, guys, we absolutely love you. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. What, what, are you, what are you putting on me? Hey, say peace. Hey, you guys say peace. You're throwing stuff at them now? You're, you're throwing stuff at them, really? I just said that we appreciate it and you're throwing stuff.